So if you're a salesman and you've ever connected with a lead but you couldn't convert, you already know yourself that that's not necessarily the key to success. Because there's a missing ingredient that I think a lot of salesmen miss and it's the fact that there's no creativity implemented. There's no theme, there's no rhythmic sound that's craftily and creatively you know, inserted at a specific point. And that's why I keep stressing, like understand the difference between enthusiasm and tonality and know how to control that. Because if you can control the, the enthusiasm within your tone when you're engaging with your prospect, that's very similar to how producers and music editors, when they make a movie, implement a specific sound at a specific scene, right? At a particular point within the movie. And I want you to pay attention to that because you're never gonna look at movies the same again. So I want you to imagine movies without these sounds, without these, these craftily and creatively implemented uh, songs. It's very important because it makes the movie, don't it? And so next time you, you go through your conversation, if you're not now already recording yourself, especially if you're having trouble converting your leads, you need to record yourself. Because what you're gonna find are a few things. Number one, you're gonna find whether or not your tonality or the rhythm of your voice and how you carry that conversation is creative enough to keep and capture that attention to guide them to the sale. But also, you're going to be able to determine when at certain points within your engagement or conversation, you are getting hit with these objections or you're losing the interest and you're losing the attention of that audience or that lead, right? And so when you understand which point and, and where in the conversation you're, you're getting the hit with these objections or you're losing that attention, you need to then rewind and, and figure out, okay, well, how did I lose it? What was I saying? How did I sound? And you're gonna figure out that a lot of it had to do with your choice of tonality, your choice of enthusiasm, your choice of words. And it's gonna open your eyes and make you more creative. And if right now you're saying, yeah, but D, I'm just not a creative type person. I'm just not, well, whatever you say is, is the truth, right? Again, what you perceive is what you believe. And you don't necessarily need to be the most creative person on earth. I'm not, I'm not asking you to be you know, an artist, right? I'm just asking you to think outside the box and, and do things in a different fashion from what you see around you. Because I can't stress enough that what these people are doing in some way, shape or form influences you. Whether you like it or not, you sound like the people you are around. It's human nature, you, we adapt and so we become like our circle. My invitation to you is break free from that and make noise in a different way. And if you can do that and you can understand that creativity is the actual secret to success in sales, you're not gonna be able to be the salesman that's just gonna point fingers and blame, like, oh, it's, I'm not getting leads, I'm not getting leads, boo-boo. You could become a successful salesman right now without being fed any leads. 